Well, hello everyone. This is Joe Drums coming to you. I hope everybody out there is doing great. I'm doing great. Um, today we're going to be actually doing something I've never done before, and I'm learning as I go. I watched some videos. I read some directions, and we're going to be putting on this L bracket cymbal stand for the ride cymbal. It's made by Ludwig, and I got this on uh, Amazon. Found it. <laughs> It's going to go on my Led Zeppelin drum set because uh, this is the way Bonham would have had it. And I kind of figured out uh, from the inside of this drum head to the other side and kind of got the center. And that was basically 12 inches this way and then 7 inches this way. So I got the center, but I don't want to be totally centered because that makes the, the cymbal stand go more forward. Now Bonham had the L this way instead of this way. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have it exactly the same way. But I'm going to bring it back a little bit. And I'm going to drill right here. And that way the cymbal stand is more centered to the shell, which is what I want. I don't want to be, you know, left of center with the cymbal stand. I want to be back a little bit. That way the cymbal's not going too close to me when I'm sitting down behind the drum set with the snare and the floor tom. I don't want my ride cymbal hanging over too far over the floor tom, so I got to make sure that it's going to be where I want it. So that's how I did it. And um, like I said, if you guys have any questions about what I'm going to do, uh, or you have any, you know, solutions, um, you know, other ways to do it, you know, feel free to drop a line. That way, I can put it in in the comment section and kind of give you a, a you know give everybody else that's going to do the same thing because i i've looked online and nobody's doing this nobody has a video on how to do this so i'm going to show you step by step so that's what i did and we're going to drill right now and let's pray and hope <laughs> it's in the right spot where i like it actually it is because i, I tested it out with the symbol on there i had my wife hold the uh the symbol while i was kind of getting this where it is and i sat down behind the set and it looked pretty good so i'm pretty happy and i think that's where i'm going to drill so here we go got my drill and i'm using this drill bit here with this little uh pointer and that's going to go right in the center of where i want to drill and when that starts to touch coming out of the shell on the other side, I'm going to stop and I'm going to drill out the other way. That way I don't get any splinters coming into the shell here and actually splitting the wood. So I'm going to do a little at a time and we'll take our, we'll take our time right now.
You missed it. I missed it coming through. No. Oh. Darn. Okay. Okay, that's one. One hole down. So I'll make one more hole. I'm gonna vacuum later on and do that. Well, the, yeah, it didn't. It didn't go. You know, didn't split or anything. So I'm glad I watched that guy's video. Okay, I need to get where you're at again. There you go. Oh, it is pretty thick, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Let's see. There's the hole. And then see this lock right here, this little, right there? Then that's gonna go, see that little opening right there? That'll lock and see, and then that won't turn. That'll hold it besides holding this, too. See how that's holding it? See, when I tighten this, then that grabs that, pulls that tight. So, I'll loosen this up. Okay. So, I'll put this right here. Yeah, that fits perfect. And they got that rubber. Yeah, okay. Alright. Now I'm going to do the second hole. I'm going to get up a little bit more. Uh, start this one. Make sure I'm right there in the center. Make sure I got it started right. Oops, where's it at? There it is. There. And Yeah. Okay, it's going. I know. I know. I just want to make sure it's it's going in that hole. Okay.
did it without cracking. And just getting all that extra wood there. Oh. All right, oh. got it. Now let's see if it fits. There and there. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this tape off. And reveal the two holes. And where's that rubber piece that I? Where'd the rubber piece go? Right here. Ah, there you go. It needs to be dusted off. Well, I know. You got a, um, got a terry yeah. cloth? Yeah. There we go. So this has a rubber piece that goes on. And now this is going to go inside here, or on this. There we go. And then I have a locking washer and a big washer that'll fit up underneath here. And we'll screw into place. And then the other one, and then I'll get my screwdriver. Gotta get started, there we go. Okay, so now it's installed. We're good to go. Um, let me tighten them down. Screwdriver. Does that look straight? Yeah, it looks straight. Good. Mm -hmm. It's lined up to the to these. Now we'll slide this baby on here. Slide the washing nut. And let's see. I would say right about there. this okay. Okay. official lovely back up and then I'm going to come back there and grab the symbol. There we go. 
tilt this a little bit less. Alright, as you can see, I've got the front bass drum head on with the rim, got everything tuned up, ready to go. I got finally got my L bracket uh, ride cymbal, cymbal stand, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with the way I did it. Again, I took my time. I watched a lot of the bottom videos on this particular set, on the Maple set, to make sure I had it a pretty close proximity to the way he's got his. And this is kind of where I like mine anyway. So even if it's slightly off a little bit, I'm still I'm happy the way this came out. So again, it's, it's one of those things, if you don't know how to drill, get somebody to help you do it and uh, have somebody there along with you to hold it and make sure you got it in the right place before you drill because once you do, one take is all you get and uh, end up getting extra holes in there and you don't want that at all. So again, I hope this was helpful. Again, there's no other video on YouTube that actually talks about setting up an L bracket cymbal stand for a John Bonham set. There's nothing. I'm the first guy to do it. So just like I was one of the first guys on uh, YouTube to have the Vistalite Bonham drum set, I still have that. It's uh, back in my uh, vault, <laughs> so to speak, and I've got it all... Uh, in cases and everything and I'll pull that out eventually too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually do that one as well and put an L bracket on that because they've said in the past that uh, because of the Vistalite set that plastic it can crack. So I probably won't be doing it on that one but I'm happy to do it on this one because this is wood it's solid and uh, it seems to be holding up really well. And again um, if you guys have any questions before you do this please feel free to drop me a line and uh, until then you guys take care keep rocking this is Joe Drum signing off we'll see you on the next video